Yeah, that's probably uh, not our air support. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Oh gosh. And we're gonna fall back a little bit. There's too much going on right now for me to actually shoot. Oh no! Is that an enemy thing or what? Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be over here. But I don't know where to go, man. I just don't know. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find that guy. Damn it. I'm gonna assume we're just supposed to take out these guys. Maybe take out this big ship. Wrong button. Uh... 
I just ran into something. Best pilot NA. Uh, I think that worked. <laughs> position uh, uh. I don't know if there's like a way to descend or anything well, there we go Seriously? Oh my god, I did everything I could to get away from that, and apparently it was closer to me than I thought. See, I didn't I didn't think it would be back here. I like this gun. Never mind. Uh, uh, You know what? Let's let's throw a seeker in there. I really wish I had a different uh, weapon loadout. So I'd rather not have two different energy weapons. Damn it. <laughs> Trying to be all fancy. Yeah, let's get out of there. Let's get out of here.
I'm gonna assume I was supposed to shoot that because it was glowing red. Are we done? Is that it? Is there, is there really any point in doing this every time? I guess we're gonna be fighting in space now, I guess. Possibly. This is Tigris Captain Cern. Heart rate stabilizing. Blood gases in range. It's Chief Bryant Ling. He's at Tigris Causeman. Where's Ethan? Right here, sir. You're on the shuttle from my vessel Tigris. I'm taking you back to Retribution. My ship? My crew? Retribution's in good hands. Sim up. She's right out there. In all her guts and glory. Who contacted you? Lieutenant Salter. She asked the Admiral for a retrieval team under the recovery too risky. Reigns didn't authorize the rescue. Moore has no friends or his. Perhaps my motivations were selfish, but I have no intention of fighting out here alone. I tossed a pilot and two spotters, and we set out to your last known location. How did you account for radial velocity? Gravitational drag and something we've been lacking. Luck. We had to pry Ethan's arms open. They'd frozen around you. 
Protecting his captain to the end. Dauntless valor, Ethan. Boundless terror, Captain. You are a humble one. Five seconds to dock. Thanks, Farron. You saved our lives. We are a fraternity of two, you and I. 50% attrition rate is not gonna fly. Welcome home, Captain. Above and beyond the call, Farron. A calculated risk, Lieutenant. I'll be returning to Tigris now. Let's get back to work. Be careful with him. Captain, please, I can look after myself. Ethan, go to engineering, see Mac, get a clean bill. What about you, sir? Don't you worry about me. Try and stop me, sir. It's all. I heard what you... You ready? Always. Your crew's waiting for you, Captain. Well, that was some emotional stuff there. See, that, that's why I like Ethan. He is with us till the very end. Brothers to the end, just like Dob and Marcus. I, uh, <laughs> I haven't played Gears of War in so long. This is what happens when you work together. You have a uh, better possibility of surviving. I don't think I killed anybody. Yeah, it's all the same. I know! One. Go ahead, Admiral. This is an update on the Aedis Con Saboteur. Our team has completed a forensic evaluation of the SDF asset we now know as Ryan. An internally planted device was found on the prison. It's a transponder. What message is it sending? We're still decrypting it. In the meantime, I briefed Lieutenant Salter on the developments in the field that need your attention. The war goes on, Captain Reyes. Defeat is not an option. Talk to Anna. Secure connection has terminated, sir. Thanks, Carmel. More detailed reports available there at your desk terminal, Reyes. Or we can choose our next mission. Okay, what? I wasn't really paying attention to that. Uh, boy. I I don't want to sit through any of this stuff. Are you me? Yeah, let's let's not. I already I already wasted like 20, 25 minutes just sitting here, going through all that crap and. You know, it's it's not that entertaining. I don't, I don't think it makes uh, for good content just to sit there. All right. Let's see, what are we gonna do next? Good flight, fair and safe travels. To you as well, Captain Reyes. Thank you for saving my life. There's a new mission from Stratcom near Murray. Another air to air mission has also become available. Man, there are so many side missions. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven side missions so far, and I'm. I have a feeling they're gonna keep popping up. What is this? Oh, oh, I, get, I see. So it actually tells you when you complete a mission. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So we could do a side mission. Do we want to go back to Saturn after the stuff that just happened?
You know what's cool? It actually tells you your success probability. Ooh. 88%. That's going down. 85. 89. Kind of sucks that you have to zoom in all the way to actually see what the mission is. Not great uh, probability rates except for this one. This is the best one. 94%. Oh, I think we need to, uh, you know... Authorize operations sudden death, yes. Set their Ajax are refueling on the surface of Titan. After the air battle with Olympus Mons, they won't expect us back there. Element of surprise is on our side. Let's move in for a strike. We need to try to digest what just happened with uh, Ethan and I. Me and Ethan. Yeah, I think that's the right way to say it. Oh, this is a. Uh... Alright, this is a space battle one. Ooh, look at that. I can make myself look like a shark. Is there anything else? Nope. I don't know which one I like. I like them all. <laughs> They're actually not that bad designs. Uh, yeah, I, I like them. I'm gonna go with the jackal. Or uh, the shark. It is called the jackal, okay. I don't have any different uh, things. Yeah, higher health, less collision damage is probably the best because <laughs> I'm not a good pilot. All right. I don't think I have to wait for the one, but I like to. It makes it more uh, realistic. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is this their Ajax or what? Yeah, it is. Alright, went in a little bit too hot there. Those are actually really easy to take out if you just shoot at their engines. Okay. I don't know where I'm actually going. I just warranted myself. I like that it actually gives you the javelin sound when uh, you're locked on.
I'm dead. Wah, wah. <laughs> I should probably uh, take out a couple of these because kind of kind of being annoying. I think that's what's lighting me up. Well, man. All right, now, now I have kind of an idea of uh, what the problem is. Oh dear. Shit, dude. It's like uh, I need to figure out how to deal with getting shot in the back. Maybe maybe rotating would help. Alright, apparently I can't really spin too much. Like I said, I'm not good at flying. I'm not... I'm just not good at it.
On. He's bugging out. One down, one to go. Back here. Come on. Son of a bitch. That worked. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was that was actually pretty difficult. Well, I don't know. It's pretty difficult if you just don't know how to fly. <laughs> I think you just gotta be uh, quick on recognizing when you're uh, under attack. That that was uh, that was a little bit annoying. Oh boy. All right. Get some R and R when you can, sir. That's the kick. I'm seeing it mark on full auto. All right, let's go ahead and uh, move on. I think I have time. Time for like one more mission. Took out this guy. You know, I really thought. Well. I really thought he was going to deploy some flares. That's why I was kind of holding off on the. Uh, that's why I didn't really want to use the missiles. But he didn't even use flares, so. Whatever. <laughs> 